Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a three minute tip. Uh, this one should apply to a lot of people. If you own a domain name, you're probably getting letters in the mail, like your actual snail mail, physical mailbox, and you're probably starting to get emails as well. And what prompted me to record this short video is getting a handful of emails from clients in the last uh, couple weeks. And here are two of them. The first one um, is from someone who said, please tell me if this is real. I've never received any call from anyone about this. And then you'll see the message she forwarded was saying your immediate attention is necessary. Your domain will be terminated within 24 hours. We've not received your payment for the renewal of your domain. So here's another one where the client just asked if the domain is expiring. And you can see she got one from Domain Services. And it says, you know, the domain's going to expire. We have not obtained payment from you. We've attempted to email you, but have been incapable. So these messages have links in them. And basically what they're trying to do is get you to renew your domain or pay them to renew it. And it's probably what's going to happen. It's going to transfer to their domain service. And this is obviously a scam. People do this through the mail, but they do it through email as well. Uh, if you Google search it, you'll actually find Wikipedia has an article on domain name scams and they call this domain slamming. So if you look at this paragraph here, it says it's a scam in which the offending domain name registrar attempts to trick domain owners into switching from their existing registrar to theirs under the pretense that the customer is simply renewing their subscription to their current registrar. So these emails are trying to trick you into thinking, you know, you're going to lose your domain, you have to renew it. Um, and they're trying to get you to click their link to renew with them. They're going to charge you extra to transfer to them. Obviously, you don't want to host your domain with someone who's sending out these scam emails. Even if they're real registrars, they're not reputable. So you don't want to have your domain name there. So what I always tell people is, you know, if they send me an email like this, I say, no, this is a scam. Don't click the link. If you're worried about your domain or you need to renew it, um, you know, you should be renewing your domain. Uh, but what you want to do is go directly to your registrar, whether it's GoDaddy, Namecheap, Google, whatever, and then go directly to their website, click sign in, sign into your account, make sure you have it set to renew, make sure you have a credit card on file, and it'll just renew automatically. You don't need to worry about these emails, just delete them. One way to keep from getting these uh, notifications is to have domain privacy on. Um, I did a video on domain privacy, so I'll link to that here but it kind of talks about what domain privacy does, how much it costs. One of the main benefits of doing it is it hides your public info. That way you won't get these letters in the mail and you won't get uh, these emails as well, or it'll at least slow them down because um, your info might be out there already, but it won't be accessible any longer. I have some other videos on my channel. If you go to youtube.com slash web eminence, you could just search for domain and you could see that domain privacy video and also a bunch of other videos I've done on the topic of domains. There's one having to do with your domain name expiring and how to renew it or just keep it um, active and on auto renew. So check that out as well if you're worried about the domain name expiring. But don't worry about these emails that are coming through and these letters you're getting in the mail. Just make sure to work with your domain registrar um, directly. And if you're needing a good registrar, you're wondering if yours is good and reputable, I do have this video here. Uh, which domain registrar should I use? And I kind of go over the ones I use and you know how to determine if it's a reputable uh, registrar that you're using. So go to my channel, check out those domain name videos, and we'll see you on the next one.